Caddis Maximus here, this time with a review of the Porter Cable 548 Worm Drive bay Bayonet Saw. These are pretty famous saws because they're very small and compact and well balanced and they're very heavy duty. They're really designed for production use. Uh, you would find them uh, associated with aircraft and that kind of stuff where you had to do a lot of cutting of uh, sheet metal. They just work great. The blades, you know, being a bayonet with the hook, can't slip out. It has a natural orbiting action because of the bell crank on these porter cables, unlike the more standard jigsaw style of the rock, earlier Rockwell review. Uh, these were known as some being some of the very best made. It is variable speed, but the variable speed trigger is, is terrible, really. Oh, and by the way, if you like any of my videos, just uh, give a thumbs up or feel free to subscribe. These things are supposed to run like sewing machines. I gotta clean out some of the sawdust in the bell crank area here. But they're very low vibration. They don't generate a lot of heat. We'll give you a view of the worm drive. I can feel a focus. Maybe not. Sometimes this camera will not focus. There we go. Sorry about the tape. This is one of my first tools and I engraved my name on it, but I don't do that anymore because if I resell it, uh, it has my name on it or somebody else has to scratch it off. So uh, These are just known as being the, the best of a production saw. One saw that you could buy and you could just do any kind of metal cutting work. That's really what they're good at. This has a fixed base. It's held on by four screws. as you can see there and they did make a tilt base but I've never seen one I found this used so that was just a quick review of the Porter Cable 548 uh, warm drive trim saw with a 3.5 amp motor but it has a only like a one inch stroke um, and they just work excellent it's just absolutely an excellent saw it does have a forward facing uh, air jet there we go. You can almost see it back there behind the blade. So it clears your cut area. Has a air placed for a anti-splintering insert. If you are doing wood cutting, I primarily used it for wood cutting, uh, but a regular jigsaw is just fine. This is made for much heavier duty cutting. Um, that's really what these are meant for: is a continuous high pole force kind of cutting. So that's why they're used so much for cutting sheet materials. And yes, you can get high-end blades, and they will cut. I mean, I've cut half inch steel with these and it's just excellent. So anyway, Caddis Maximus out. Thanks for watching and uh, more videos soon.